Wrestling fans, we welcome you to another installment of NWA Smoky Mountain TV. I'm your host, Matt Rhodes, alongside host of PWS Adrenaline Rush, which you'll see on this same network at 3 p.m. Dylan Sizemore, ladies and gentlemen, we got a big program in store for you, including going back and recapping some of the big events that took place this past Saturday night at the King Sports Civic Auditorium at the 8th Annual Collision Course, ladies and gentlemen. But right here off the bat, we have a big announcement to pass along to you wrestling fans tonight. In Morristown, Tennessee, there was a big event scheduled to take place tonight. It's Tally Ward Recreation Center, that event has been canceled. It is uh, far beyond the control of the NWA Smoky Mountain. Uh, some building issues there with the management. Uh, that's about all the details uh, we can get into at this time. Our sincerest apologies to our great wrestling fans in Morristown, and we will promise that we will be back in Morristown sooner rather than later, even if it's in a new facility, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, we do apologize for the inconvenience of this. No event will take place tonight in Morristown, but a big event will take place, ladies and gentlemen, one week from tonight, Rogersville, Tennessee's National Guard Armory Dillon. Oh, it's a big event, Memorial Bash 6, the 6th annual. we got a big six-man tag team elimination-style match that night. The Illuminati, Tony Givens, Chris Richards, and GQ Flawless against Josh Crawford, Johnny Knievel, and Big Daddy Freddy, a ladder match, and so much more. We'll have more on that card throughout the program, ladies and gentlemen. But like I said, we're going to be taking a look back at some of the big things that happened at the 8th Annual Collision Course, and let's get started right now. Hasn't been in this match yet. Fresh is to be. Jeff Conley, Kurt Cox over there on the other corner. They've been ready for the past few minutes. They're nice and fresh ready to get back in this game. They need to tag out and get a fresh man in there and take a little time off, sit there on the apron, and get ready to get back in this thing. And they're talking about Big Daddy Freddy, one of the commentary department down at the PWF, Steve Crawford. He likes to refer to him as Hothead Fred a lot of the times. That's about the best way you can describe him in a tag team matchup. Almost fresh now on the outside of the ring waiting to get 
And you know, this, if, if luck happens to keep the two men on the other side of the ring, if anyone got him close enough, Keith Knox would tag himself in to get a piece of this action. Oh. And that's hard-headed Freddy as we were talking about earlier. And now he's using that hard hit. Big hit by the Tony Gibbons. Now can he take Chris Richards out? Oh, oh, Jeff Conley said, oh, what's GQ Flawless doing out here? GQ Flawless. Conley's hurt. Here Referee's having to go check on Jeff Conley. Big Daddy Freddy has Tony Gibbons. This way. One, two, three, and they're eliminated. Jeff Carlin's Big Daddy Freddy and Josh Crawford have been eliminated. Also, 20 minutes have passed in the contest. 20 minutes have passed. Oh, now attack on the outside. They roll Conley into the ring. He's hurt. Tony Givens. Easy pickings. Smiling from ear to ear. You got to think this has been the plan all along since the announcement of this match for the Illuminati. It's easy pickings right now. Conley's hurt. You know, I, I expected the Illuminati to obviously not play by the rules, but GQ Flawless wasn't the guy running out here. I figured they'd have uh, the Disciple out here to take care of their dirty work. No, Jeff kicked out. The Disciple's still in the back, guys. The Disciple's still in the building, so I mean, don't count them out. But we don't need any more interference out here. We're definitely not. Don't give me any ideas. Josh Crawford is ready, no doubt disappointing. With Jeff Conley in the ring, and he's injured. Oh, and man. now the two, three of the four defending tag team champions left. Keith Knox, the CWA, NWA Smoky Mountain tag team champion, and his partner Jeff Conley. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at the belts right here beside me. Right now. Oh, going for a camel's clutch. Look at he's, he's, he's got him facing his partner, too, playing mind games. Definitely. With the challenge. Trying to get into that head of Keith Knox. Tony Givens is wanting to know what it takes to flip that switch inside Keith Knox's head. He's done it a couple times before. Definitely going to do it here tonight. Tony's toying with him right now. It's almost Knox and Connolly versus not only Tony Gibbons and Chris Richards, but GQ Flawless and Rob Knight on the other corner. Oh, Jeff Connolly puts a boot. That was unintentional. That was the referee. That was the unintentional. No intention. And after some of the things that's going on in this match, let it go anyway. If Jeff Connolly can make the tag, this place is going to erupt. Do not. He's close. He's engine perfect. Here he comes. He's very close. He's a party boy. Oh, sir. Josh Gibbs. Oh, right. Damn. Thanks for laying him in. Big right hand to Tony Gibbons. Goes right into the corner on big Chris Richards. We need not to take on two men before. Spot. Booyah. What's this? There he is. Richards from behind. We knew he wouldn't stay silent this whole match. Got him, Smoke Carver. He's got, uh oh, Knox is along with the disciple. Oh, and he tags. Jeff Conley makes the blind tag. And now he's coming in on fire. Don't you fight him off? Come on, Jeff. You gotta admire the heart of the specialist, Jeff Conley. Taking it right to the big man. Running it. He moves out of the way. Give us with the elbow. Conley's got the momentum. Here it is. With Conley's finisher. The cover! Rolls him over. One, two! two. And Tony kicks out. Man alive, we've seen it in this matchup now. The disciples out here. Gentlemen, I just want to point this out. We're watching history being made right before our eyes. Exactly. Right now, Conley's trying to catapult the superstar. And Tony gives him the neck break. And that could be back to square one with Conley's back. Look out, time to go to sleep. Swings it down. Will that be enough? The disciple back up on the apron. Jim Conley. He may have one for the disciple, but he turned his back on Tony Gibbons. Oh, Tony 
He's got him. Now both, both, both corners. Big, 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 big. A spear, big spear. Is Tony Gibbons going to tap out? His he hands are on the end of the mat. Jesus Christ, how much more interference are we going to see here? Tony's, Tony's tapping, tapping out. out but Tony's tapping out. Tony's tapping out. And the disciple of his dog knocks into the post here. Head first. The disciple back up to his feet. Back into the ring. And the disciple of the ring. Well, he's got a boot. Top of the head. And maybe the knockout blow. Tommy looks like he's on Dream Street right now. Turns around, he's got him up. Hey, what? Oh what? 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 What the hell? Oh my God. That's Robbie Cassidy! Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners and new Undisputed East Tennessee Tag Team Champions, the Illuminati! Matt, of all the names thrown into the hat to be the disciple, never once did Robbie Cassidy come into that conversation. They did everything they could. The rest of the team, I don't, I don't care, they made it seem like it was Brian Logan. And I do, back of my mind, very good and well, but Brian Logan was never coming back here. But once again, I don't like everybody else bought into it. And Robbie Cassidy has once again doped the crowd. For three years after he turned his back on the fans at this very event in 2009. And what a prick. At least I got that part right. What a prick. Hey! This is the part where I tell you how this man became the newest member of the Illuminati. You see, for a long time, best man, he was my tag team partner, and we were the greatest tag team of the last decade in this region, and it doesn't matter who says otherwise. But I got this man's help tonight. And if you were expecting somebody else too bad for you, I can tell you how it went down. But there's nothing better than hearing it from the horse's mouth. Tell me. After breaking my back for this company, going out for a year, making a comeback right around Christmas, get him down. Around Christmas, I damn near died from a heart complication, and I didn't hear a damn thing from anyone in six months. And then it got to me. It came to realize that everything that this man said was a damn truth. That you all don't care about what we do in here. You don't care about us personally. You all are only customers. You just buy tickets, you line our pockets, and you do a damn good job of it. Now, with Tony Gibbons, GQ Flawless, the Tennessee Redneck Chris Richards, the manager of managers, Rob Knight, and the best of the best, Robbie Cassidy, as the Illuminati, there is not an entity, a person, or a damn army that can stop us now. Look out! Look out! Here Look comes Freddie and Crump and the Oh man! Look out! Oh no! It's a it's all out brawl. It's all all that loose. Oh, he's sitting on the tree. Oh wow! Josh 
Crawford asking for a microphone. What a not so hard man. And I hear you say there wasn't nothing. Not even a damn army can stop you guys. Last month in Rogersville, the living out of you guys, Chris Richards chokes me from the top of the cage, off that cage, to the floor to a table. We still, we didn't get it done in that cage. The next time we're back here on June 30th, let's step the bar up a little bit. June 30th, let's bring in not just one ring, two rings. Oh, well, whoa. And you know, War Games didn't get it done. It didn't get it done by a long shot. Let's bring in the steel cage, and let's bring in a barbed wire cage. Oh, and one wow! Cage of death wow. match. How about it? Cage of oh, death. Wow! Two cages, one in weapons, barbed wire, cage. You want to? You want to declare war? We just declared war on you all. Oh, wow. And as far as I'm concerned, June 30th back here, Cage of Death, you guys ain't gonna want none. And I mean, none, baby. Oh, wow, Matt Rose, double ring, steel cage, four bar cage, Cage of Death match. Nonprofit organizations, sports clubs, civic groups, schools, or anyone looking to raise funds for your organization. The stars of the National Wrestling Alliance are here to put money in your pocket. Bring us in for your next fundraiser and get the funds you need for your organization on the night of the event without wait. For more information, you can email the office at office at nwasmokymountain.com or you can call the office at area code 423 423- 773-5449. Wrestling fans, the stars of the Mountain Empire coming soon to a town near you. PWF Wrestling presents Saturday night, May 19th in Rogersville, Tennessee. Memorial Bash 6 at the National Guard Armory. Featuring a six-man tag team grudge match pitting the Illuminati versus Josh Crawford, Big Daddy Freddy, and Johnny Knievel. Also that night, we will see Daniel Mulligan defending the PWF Heavyweight Championship against Rain Rodriguez in a ladder match. PWF Wrestling presents a TV taping Friday night, June the 1st in Elizabethan, Tennessee at the VFW Hall. And PWF Wrestling presents Saturday night, June 9th in Rogersville, Tennessee back at the National Guard Armory. And NWA Smoky Mountain presents Saturday night, June 30th in Kingsport, Tennessee at the legendary Kingsport Civic Auditorium. The Cage of Death. Fans, it's two teams in two rings in two cages. One steel, one barbed wire. And there's only one outcome. And fans, that is pure carnage. Fans, make sure not to miss a minute of the Mountain Empire Wrestling action. It's fantastic. Wrestling fans, we welcome you back here to the program, and we have some uh, huge breaking news in on the program right now as we can announce that uh, Thursday night, June the 14th, NWA Smoky Mountain has signed Davey Richards on a contract to appear in the NWA Smoky Mountain. Now, that's about all the information that I have at this moment, also that he'll be appearing alongside his teammates of Team Ambition, Tony Kazina, 
Kyle O'Reilly. But once again, big breaking news here on the program. Davey Richards returning to the NWA Smoky Mountain. It'll be on Thursday night, June the 14th. That's about all the information that we have. More information will be available this week on our new website, nwasmokymountain.com, and, of course, next week here on this program, same time, same place. Big events coming to the Mountain Empire, including for the Pro Wrestling Federation starting in the month of June, Dylan. Oh, we got before that May 19th in Rogersville, like we was talking about earlier. Then June 1st, a big television taping back in Elizabethan, Tennessee at the VFW. Then right back in Rogersville, Tennessee at the National Guard Armory on June 9th. Three big events right there. Three big events coming up. And also on Saturday night, May the 26th, um, just a couple of weeks from now, Kapow Wrestling, Knoxville, Tennessee, or Maryville to be exact, will have a big card of wrestling action featuring all your top stars of the NWA Smoky Mountain, including a big main event. We talked about Davey Richards moments ago. He'll be in Knoxville on the 26th in a huge triple threat contest as he faces off against Chase Owens and the wrestling extraordinaire Sigmund. Huge three-way matchup. That a lot of personal heat going into this one, and uh, we've seen Sigmund capture the Mountain Empire title, and now he's going to have another opportunity to pin the current Ring of Honor World Heavyweight Champion, Davey Richards, on uh, Saturday night, May the 26th. Kapow Wrestling, Maryville, Tennessee, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have more information on that event next week here on the program. But right now we're going to take a quick commercial break, come back with more Smoky Mountain Television. Looking for the hottest wrestling on the net? NWA Smoky Mountain is here for you. Get all the latest info on upcoming events, news, NWA merchandise, and much more on our website at NWASmokyMountain.com. Also check us out on Facebook at Facebook.com slash NWA Smoky Mountain. And also follow us on Twitter at Twitter.com slash NWA Smoky Welcome back here to NWA Smoky Mountain TV and ladies and gentlemen once again to announce that tonight's event in Morristown, Tennessee has been canceled uh, far beyond the control of the NWA Smoky Mountain. Some issues with the building management. That's about all the details we can go into at this time. But uh, once again, sincere apology to all the great wrestling fans of Morristown. We had a great crowd last time we were on hand at the Tally Ward Center, and tonight would have been no different, but um, you know, it's far beyond our control, and we do sincerely apologize once again to our great fans, and we do promise that we will be back in some way or fashion in Morristown, Tennessee very soon. I'll tell you what, and we're coming off the heels of a big event in King Sport this past Saturday night, the 8th Annual Collision Course, Dylan Sizemore, and we're going to leave the fans at home watching today with the closing moments of the Mountain Empire title match where we've seen a very shocking change of hands. Right in the oh, neck yeah. breaker. And Chase puts it back up for a neck breaker. Chase went to let it go at that one. Two, he had to put the emphasis on it, but he still couldn't get him put away. This might be one of the most important matches in Chase Owens' career after losing the Middle Atlantic Junior Heavyweight Championship to Sigmund, and Sigmund win the Smoky Mountain Cup tournament. And you can see Chase Owens just put the right hand into the top turnbuckle. He's, he's fired up. He's ready to go. Glory to go time again. Oh! Oh! What a super kick. I mean, wait a minute, Sigmund has got the elbow pad of Chase Owens. What's he doing? He's putting it on. He's putting, he's putting Chase's elbow pad on, and he's reaching he's reaching into a bag or something over here. He's got. That's that vest he wore to the ring with him. He's got a bra he said a brass knuckles. No. Brass knuckles in there. He just loaded that elbow pad. Sigmund no. has just loaded the elbow pad. The referee don't see it. Chase 
Chase Dutcher. Oh! It may not matter at this point. Yeah, Chase, still hurt. Chase needs to make the cover. Hooks the leg, both legs. One, two, and here. Sigmund kicks out. How, how, what would it have done to Chase Owens' mindset if Sigmund would have took his championship with his own finishing maneuver? Yeah. Good. Look out! Ducks it again. Oh! Caught him with an elbow. Oh! Got him with an elbow. With a loaded pad. One, two, three, and you can't. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and new NWA Mountain Empire champion, the wrestling extraordinaire, Sigma. This might be a very devastating loss for Chase Owens. Chase has lost two belts in the past month. After tonight, Chase Owens may never be the same. There he is, the winner Right now, Chase Owens may need some medical attention. He's out cold. You see Sigmund taking that elbow pad off. Second Mountain Empire champion in Indo Mugoe history. Wrestling extraordinaire, six. Jordan!